here and welcome back. Today I am scrapbooking some photographs from Thanksgiving 2019. Now if you guys have been around me any length of time you know that Thanksgiving is steak and lobster day at our house. Um, so I thought what would be actually perfect to document 2019 was the stamp of the month from Brutus Monroe which is this adorable little turkey that just begs like please don't eat me. Um, I've stamped it and then it also has so thankful for you so I'm going to cut that out as well. I also have some uh, autumn foliage paper pad papers so let's see what I can do. The first thing I did was take my cardstock and figure out how I wanted my background to be. So I'm using a bunch of neutrals. I'm using the khaki, I'm using the cream, and I'm using the black. Now this black sheet of cardstock is something that I had ripped uh, in the past for another layout, but that's still a lot of cardstock, so I kept that. Now I am going to go ahead and glue down the cream colored cardstock over top of that black and it's just kind of looking like a messy stack of papers and this is something that I uh, do semi-regularly uh, with my layouts. I just find that it gives it a fun look. I am going to trim off the edges and I'm using a straight trimmer here instead of a guillotine trimmer because I feel like it just fits better in that straight trimmer. So now I'm going to turn it around so that I have it ready to go. Now normally my outlining comes last but for some reason uh, on this layout I wanted to make sure it happened. I felt like this was a big expanse of cream and I needed something there. Now, as you can see, I colored in my little turkey. I did not make you watch me color him uh, because I am not well-versed on coloring techniques, you guys, and I was just using some markers to make him cute. Now, I am going to trim down my photos so that they are four by four. Now, I am trimming it in a way so that you're still going to see everything in the photo that I want you to see. Uh, I did cut out the cheesy mashed potatoes. I'm okay with that. Uh, you don't need to see um, a whole pot of cheesy mashed potatoes to understand that we had cheesy mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. Now I have this uh, overview of our table uh, and it was just my husband, my daughter, and I uh, because the other two are out of the house. One's in college and one um, it was in the Marines and we live across the country from our family. So our holidays are usually uh, just us. And as much as I miss my family and I miss having them around, sometimes it's nice just to have your, your little family together. It's, it's just a good time. I am taking these six by six papers from the fall uh, paper pack and I cut them down to four and a half by four and a half. That way I will have great mats for my photos. Um, I am going to do a couple of different mats because I have this kind of um, stacked paper background going on. Uh, you just saw me pull out the weathered wood paper and I was just trying to see if that was a good match. Um, I wasn't thrilled with it. Uh, so I went ahead and pulled out this cardstock and I want to stay, this is called Starry Night. It is on the Brutus Monroe website. I'll have it linked down below. Um, it's a really cool, it's kind of a gray and black cardstock together um, and it just gave me a great little pop of contrast where I needed it. So I go ahead and decide that my little turkey guy is going to go down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to cut out um, the paper again. So I cut these to four and a quarter and I'm just filling in my uh, space here. So I have my photo that is four by four. Um, this uh, cardstock that is four and a quarter and then my pattern paper is four and a half. And I went ahead and offset them. I was originally going to do them as squares, but this time I did not. I wanted to make sure you got a little bit of that dark 
color on that one paper. Um, and then my photos are going to overlap a little bit. And it's not overlapping anything where you can't see what is in the photo. So we had these delicious lobsters, we had scallops, we had steak, we had mushrooms, and we had baked cheesy mashed potatoes for our Thanksgiving meal. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the sentiment that I stamped with the stamp of the month and I'm just cutting it out so that it is nice and square. Now the sentiment is a little bit small for a title but it is going to be able to be used for an accent. Um, I definitely want my title to be a little bit big. Now I was thinking about um, matching up the turkey and this so thankful for you together um, kind of you know, tongue in cheek, like the turkey was thankful uh, for steak and lobster. Um, but I decided that I liked it a little bit better separated. I just like the way it looked and matting it on that cardstock over here just gives this photo a little bit of that dark color that I had on the other ones as well. I guess I had to take an iced tea break. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and get my little turkey uh, placed on the layout and I was thinking about how I was going to bring in a little bit more of the fall theme and fall pattern going on here so I grabbed a scrap of the paper and I'm just going to go ahead and tuck it in right here that'll give me a little bit better of a weighted base for my turkey um, he was kind of just like hanging out uh, over top of the cream cardstock a little bit too much I do grab a little bit of foam and I'm going to pop the turkey up just to give him a little bit of oomph. I definitely want you to see him. Um, even though Thanksgiving is about steak and lobster in our house, like we still associate turkeys with Thanksgiving. Um, it isn't like I'm going to put up a picture of a cow and a lobster. Um, we definitely feel uh, the turkey is Thanksgiving-ish. I'm just going to add a little bit more adhesive so my papers don't pop up. So now I've got this big expanse of open creamy space here over on the left and I am going to put a title on that. Now the photos that I have off to the side here you guys I had duplicates of the steak and the lobster. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that happened. I don't know if I ordered them twice or I accidentally ordered two of them at the same time. All I know is that I had multiple pictures of steak and lobster and I don't need them. One, one page is going to be enough for this year's uh, Thanksgiving uh, layout. Um, so I am using these uh, letter stickers that I had in my stash and I need it to Frankenstein one up so that I could make it work for me. So I am going to spell out uh, say no to turkey. Now, if you are a turkey lover, I am so sorry. I don't mean to offend you in any way by doing steak and lobster on Thanksgiving um, or not having a big old turkey dinner with all the trimmings. I don't know what it is. I just, a roast turkey just it's not one of my favorite things, you guys. It's just not. Um, not that we don't have, you know, roast chicken dinners with, you know, stuffing and mashed potatoes and all that kind of good stuff. But turkey, just not my thing. Just not my thing. Now, I went ahead and grabbed another set of letter stickers from my stash. And these are in an orangey color, which kind of matches the yellowy orange color in the paper pad. So that's always a tip. I know that sometimes we like to scrapbook and create with one thing. Um, but really, one of the things that makes me happy is that I can use new product with the old product that is already in my stash. Um, and that just means that you're going to be able to use things up. And when you use things up, guess what? You get to buy more things. And that's what makes me happy. Um, I love using my things up and I love buying more things. Now, I went ahead and grabbed some sequins from um, my stash. Now, these are Brutus Monroe sequins. And these little bad boys right here, oh my goodness, they are glorious, let me tell you. So they are a... Uh, gold glittery goodness sequin. I 
I don't know the name of it. I, I'll link it down below, but honestly, you guys, gold glittery goodness um, like sums it up. So I'm just going to place those down on some glue spots that I put down. I'm just going to sprinkle them around the page to get a little bit of glitter going. Oh my goodness, they're so sparkly. And if the sparkle is a little bit too much for you, you can actually flip them over because you still see the sparkle, but it's muted a little bit. So if Shining, Shimmering, Splendid isn't exactly your jam, um, you can flip them over and it's kind of like matte shimmering splendid. <laughs> um, matte as in M-A-T-T-E, not Matt the dude. I don't even think I know a Matt the dude. Um, anyway, that I'm pretty sure is going to do it for this layout except for the journaling that I will place in here um, talking about how we don't really do turkey on Thanksgiving. And this year we added scallops to our steak and lobster tradition. Um, if you need a place to get lobsters shipped to you, let me know in the comments down below. I can hook you up. It's not an affiliate. It's just really good lobster. Um, and finding really good lobster out here in California, we have it shipped in. We have live lobster shipped in. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. There it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, just look at those fall papers. They're gl glorious. Glory us. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications every time a video goes up on this channel. And I will see you again real soon for another video.